Hello, Salam. Welcome to this video. So if you are a female watching this, you are a revert Muslim, convert Muslim, new Muslim, whatever you identify as, even if that's for 10 years or just one month, or even if you aren't Muslim yet, but you're just looking into Islam, then I really ask that you keep watching this video because you're going to find it so beneficial and interesting. We are speaking to Mary Lou. She is the founder of the Revert Channel. So we talk about what the Revert Channel is, what the membership program is, which is for BU Empowered Living, which is what I'm part of and what you get from that. We also talk about how she became Muslim, which is always so interesting to hear people's revert stories and why she felt there was a need for the revert channel. And I'm pretty sure that you're going to be able to relate to it. So let's get into the video. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum, Mary Lou. It is so good to have you here. Alaikum salam, Ali. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So now you are the founder of the Revert Channel, and I know that you've had a really interesting journey of becoming a Muslim. You've been a Muslim for quite a while now, mashallah. Um, so can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, and then let's just go straight into what the Revert Channel is. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, well, I'm originally from Berlin, grown up and raised in Germany, and I was born into a complete unreligious family. Uh, my parents, they don't believe really. Um, from a young age, I could remember I had that faith and that belief in God. So I started going to church by myself from my age of 12, which is kind of was a bit of a different one. Uh, and I sang and I was actually in a gospel choir and I was, um, yeah, it was, it was quite interesting. Um, so over the years, I kind of, I didn't really live a very religious life, but I, I always had that strong faith um, to, to God. And then I moved to London um, when I was about 22, 23, and I studied there. And suddenly I had a lot of Muslim friends around me. So I kind of was confronted with the faith a bit more and I saw them pray and uh, the way how they lived. Um, but again, it wasn't really, um, a friend of mine gave me the Quran. So I started reading a little bit, but I didn't do in-depth research. It was more few years later, a friend of mine uh, got married in Morocco and she invited me to her wedding. And it was over there that I heard that I danced for the very first time, um, which really touched my heart. And a few days later, I took my shahada, which was really um, quite a decision out of my gut. It was just something I was like, OK, it was a first day. I remember I was with her family and I said to her, I, I want to take my shahada and everyone was quite shocked because it wasn't that I researched loads and and, and kind of think thought about it. it was just a feeling I had inside me and I remember, remember I started to cry and I was like this is I'm just living wrong this is not right I have to this is the truth it was really really weird I can't I, until now Allah Allah knows best yeah um, so they said to me my friends like okay maybe sleep over it it's quite a big <laughs> thing you it's know really so good it's, that they did yeah, that as well for you. really good exactly. yeah Yes, and it wasn't like kind of, and it was a Thursday, and then on the Friday, you know, I was like, okay, it's Juma, I woke up, I was like, I, I want to do this, and they said, okay, and then I, they, they showed me how to make horses, so it was really, I was a bit confused, and I remember I was sitting in like a mini bus in, in Morocco, and because obviously this is quite a big thing for 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 people. Mm -hmm. The whole family came with me. I, I was in this mini bus with all yeah. the aunties and cousins and children, and I was so nervous. And they said to me on the way there um, that I have to put a scarf on. So I, here I am in the car trying to wrap that thing around my head. I remember the little girls behind me were giggling because mm -hmm. I just struggled, <laughs> struggled to put the headscarf on. And um, one thing I like to share because it's it's really the first really intense sign I had from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was that in that moment I said look I'm gonna pray I'm gonna fast I knew about the basics I'm not gonna cover I'm not gonna cover I, I really just I was quite um yeah it, it just didn't sit with me I, I thought I'm not gonna cover so, and they said that's fine just you know just take everything easy but when you go to the mosque you should wear a headscarf <laughs> So I went in, I took my shahada, everything was, was really nice. And once I came out from the mosque, I, I, after a while, my friend was like, you're still wearing your scarf. And it was almost like Allah had made that decision for me. I was like, yeah, I don't want to take it off now. 
-hmm. And it was really within an hour. And even it gives me goosebumps today. It's wow. within an hour, Allah changed my heart. I, when people ask me, or even my mom, you know, sometimes we clashed over the topic. I was like, mm -hmm. mom, I actually never decided to wear a headscarf. You know, it, I've never made that decision. And I have to be honest, it wasn't always easy. There were days where I didn't want to wear it. Mm -hmm. um, and, but I just, that was my journey and it kind of, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, here I am, 10 years later. Um, yeah, that's, yes. that's in a nutshell, a little bit of my story, Ellie. No, that's amazing. And yeah, it just reminds me again, you know, just how different literally every single person's story and journey is and like how, you know, yeah, we shouldn't compare ourselves, our own journey um, to other people's or try and replicate someone else's because it really does just happen so uniquely and yeah. individually as well. And so, yeah, wow, that's so, so beautiful. Um, now, how did you find then being a revert? Um, well, how have you found it in the last 10 years and kind of what's made you now create this community for revert sisters? Well, I mean, the, the first few years been difficult um, because I, I had the sense of, I lived in London where I kind of, um, so after Morocco, I traveled to Germany. So it was a, quite a big shock for my mom. And what I did back then, I, live, I, le I left her house without the scarf. And then like in the corridor, I put a scarf on. And then what happened after a few days, she saw me in the supermarket with a scarf on. She literally, she literally started to cry. So I was crying. I was like, because she was like, this is my daughter. It was quite a shock for her, you know, and she didn't know it. Um, so the, the, the beginning, also with the prayer, and I didn't know how to pray. It was Ramadan when I converted. I didn't fast the first month because mm -hmm. I was just literally coming from Morocco. I was a Muslim two, three days, was in Berlin, where I kind of didn't have any Muslim friends with my little piece of paper where I wrote the Fatiha on it. So I managed to pray. After a few days, I realized that every prayer has different amounts of raka. So the first few days, I didn't know that. So it was just literally a kind of surviving mode. Like, but I did, there was one thing with my prayer. I was like, and back then I prayed always when the prayer started. I didn't know I had that kind of time window. So it was like 12, 3, or 3, I was like, I have to pray. Yeah, it was right. really, which was again, a bit difficult for my mom because I was quite extreme about things. So I wanted to get it right. So it was, it was, it was a journey. It was a journey, especially with my family. Yeah, I had to find my way. I then I studied back then. So suddenly after the summer break, I came back with a headscarf to uni. Mm -hmm. It was really, I remember these days, they were really, uh, really, it was hard. You know, one of my teachers was like, why, what happened? And I wore it quite different, like a turban. Kind mm, of, yeah. Different. One of my teachers was like, oh, you, you, did you shave your hair off? And I'm like, no. So it was really, it was tough. I was an events manager. Again, I worked for like a huge company. We done like award ceremonies for like 2000 people. I had to email my boss saying, look, next time I come to work, just to let you know, because I thought it's better to inform them. So it, it was a journey. It was a journey and it wasn't an easy one. Um, and at times I felt really lonely. I felt really lonely because I felt... I didn't really fit in with the Muslim community. Like it was still, I wasn't a born Muslim. And then yet I felt a little bit, at least in the beginning, different than my family and friends. Mm -hmm. So it was quite a lonely place to be in. Um, and especially with the prayer, I didn't have many people who taught me or I had people who, who were quite like, oh, you need to get married now, but, you know, kind of. Sometimes I felt born Muslims couldn't really understand that it's a journey. It was like, you have to do this now and do this. And you should do all your sunnah prayer. And why do you still do this? This is haram. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, you know, you can't just press a button and suddenly I'm still me. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Exactly. yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. It, it was a journey. It was a journey and definitely became easier when I got married, which was about three years after. So the first three, two and a half years, I think two and a half, were, I was kind of on my own um and it was it was challenging i had a few fair good cries on my prayer mat mm -hmm. um because i just um yeah felt like I, I don't fit in anymore and that wasn't really a good feeling after after a few years i came to the conclusion it's okay i don't need to fit in yeah. you know and, yeah. and then grown my confidence within within me grown um alhamdulillah yeah 
So that is that was my motivation to to then many 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 years later to actually form the Revert Channel to, wow. to create a safe space for Revert sisters. Yeah, no, that's really amazing, and yeah, it's amazing that you. To be honest, even when I think I found out like how long you'd been Muslim also before creating the channel, I think that also gave me before I'd even kind of looked into it in even more depth, you know, more, I don't know, yeah, like confidence, I guess, because, you know, you've been Muslim for 10 years, that like you've walked that walk that you're now talking about and now sharing. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I am part of the Revert channel. Um, so I've been doing some of the Zoom calls and part of the WhatsApp group, which is really, really lovely. And I've been working my way through the courses on the website. So can you tell us yeah, a little bit more about what um, the ladies watching this um, will experience yeah, what they will get and what to expect um, when they join the Revert channel, inshallah. So we have uh, we have some free parts, which is um, on how to pray. We have a series on how to pray in which we explain all the Arabic meaning. It's really done really, really well with slides. We go through all the sentences. His sister Hannah is doing it really well, explains the English meaning and goes to the Arabic words. So everyone who's done the prayer course, I had amazing feedback. Like, you know, there's so much on YouTube, but the way how we did it is quite special. So if you need to learn how to pray, if you want to improve your prayer or if you're unsure about some things, go head over to the Revert channel, yeah. check out our prayer course. Um, that's one of our free resources. The other free resource we offer is um, a how and when to take your Shahada. It's um, four or five different videos on literally how to take the Shahada. But also we created a video where we kind of what not to do after you take your Shahada. Okay, like, no, yeah, you know, which, really, which is quite cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not to get overwhelmed, not to take all the opinions on board. Maybe also not to tell your family straight away, not mm -hmm. to have that pressure to kind of really settle, settle that for yourself then we have a video on what to do after and take the shahada and then also on how to to tell your family that you're muslim now because we found that there is quite a big challenge and um sister hannah and me who created the content also from our experience knew we were quite forceful and quite extreme to our families not so gentle mm -hmm. and 10 years later i can say that was one thing which i highly recommend to reverts to <laughs> this is new to you. This is a huge step. Have empathy for your family and, and let them be and, and, and let them take it in and be gentle on them. And, and if they're in shock or if they're angry for a while, that's okay. Just kind of make, make prayer for them. Think how the prophet, peace be upon him, how he would be. He would just pray and be gentle rather to, to than to be like, oh, this is what I do now. And why don't you respect me to kind yeah, of yeah. all that conflict? Because that's what I did. And it, it yeah. made things so much harder. And now often I just hear my mom out and it's like, she's like, oh, it's so nice how we can talk about things now. And I'm like, yeah, well, I had to learn this. So we're taking obviously our combined knowledge of our experience producing content. So that's, that's our free resources. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we have a very new program, which I created out of what I just mentioned in a way that I came to, to the, to a point where I said, I don't need to fit in anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, I really grown in my inner confidence. And I also, um, I love personal growth. Um, I'm a personal growth and mindset coach. And I kind of the last decade, I learned so much and studied so much and done different courses and read different books. Um, and all these different tools in terms of mindset and really kind of strengthen myself and my self love and my self acceptance and to really understand myself. Um, these kind of tools really helped me as a Muslima because I now can be a confident, happy, only hijabi in my family, and it's okay. I wow. can, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But these tools I created, and that's why I created it's a part two, be you empowered living of the the revert channel, because I found that it's so it helped me tremendously in my life, in my marriage, in my relation to my parents, to my children, that I thought, okay, I have to share this. And basically what I did, I combine coaching tools with islamic teachings mm, yeah. and that together is um quite powerful yeah, <laughs> yeah. and so there are yeah there are a series of videos and they're on the bu empowered living and yeah i think what i was most kind of 
uh, yeah, surprised and impressed about is just the range of the of different topics. So the first one being Takwa, and then you have some on journaling and overcoming fears. And, you know, these are, you know, Takwa, okay, you only know that really if you're a Muslim or you're learning about Islam um, and, and that being like the mindfulness in Islam. But then, you know, when you look at the journaling and the overcoming fears and things like that, it's like, this is topics that a lot of people are talking about right now. I mean, especially journaling, it's, you know, become such a big topic. Um, you yeah. know, it's so many different personal development um, spheres. Because I know I've listened, yeah, even before I became Muslim, I listened to a lot of different podcasts on a lot of these topics, essentially. Um, but you have put them in an Islamic perspective, talking about hadiths. And there is so much detail in them as well. I mean, each um topic has got what about like six or eight videos within it it depends i think the the, the i think some topics so we have nine pre-recorded courses yeah. as you said the first one is yeah. taqwa and is self-love journaling and we put them in order so it's kind of you have to complete the first it's like a flow. To go in, in order to go to the second because we believe the true understanding and the implementation of understanding taqwa is the base yeah and then it comes to self-love you know it's kind of how can you be super successful and smash your goals if you don't love and respect yourself so we kind of put the courses in order to build to build that that house you know to build yeah. that strength inside you um and they all come with their own workbooks and the pre-recorded videos in which i obviously go section by section explain we have about, I think, minimum of five, six. And I think the longest chapter has 14 videos. Wow. Um, so some of them are quite, but we kept the videos quite short between 10 and 20 minutes a max for, for yeah. people to kind of also um, be able to work through this. We, are, we all have a busy life. So it's kind of, it's self-paced. And that's the, the, yeah. that's the beauty. You can download your workbook. You can, you know, you have an hour in the evening, you sit down, you watch some videos, you make some notes on the end you have a little assessment just to kind of check your knowledge and um, then we can, can complete the chapters with a really beautiful um, islamic meditation yeah. which is tailored to that chapter so mm -hmm. i think that's have you have you done one yeah no i've done a couple of them and the, yeah the chapters i've done and they are really really lovely yeah i think the mind, yeah, I remember doing the first one um, after Taqwa and yeah, I literally like I was at my desk when I was doing the courses, like a few of the listening to some of the videos um, and then we got on, to, I got onto the last one and then I literally just lay on the floor <laughs> in, the, in the room and just like, yeah. listen to it because that is yeah. how I know you can you know stay seated depending on what you're doing but for me like listening to things like that I just want to be like lying down yeah. flat on the floor um and yeah it was really really peaceful and really amazing and it's just yeah a really nice way to just kind of you know recap everything that you've just learned and kind of yeah it's really take it cool. all in to internalize yeah. and Mary yeah. the sister was doing the, the meditations for us mm -hmm. uh, she's doing it wonderful wonderful so it's kind of she produced them for our chapter so that's really really special so we have the workbooks we have nine pre-recorded courses with the meditations um, and then we do weekly group coaching calls in which we talk about different topics um, we have other coaches who are coming in who are um, <clears throat> specialized and different. We had Asima coming in. She talked about trauma, key decisions. Nice. She's going to come in and again in a few weeks and do different things with us. Um, then we have a WhatsApp group in which we kind of communicate and, and, and stay connected. And that's all part of the BU Empowered Living Package, the part two, uh, which at the moment is 27 pound a month. Yeah. And uh, we had signups from sisters from all over the world. And yeah. it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing group of, of really motivated, thriving sisters from different ages, different backgrounds, but really having that, that same goal to thrive, to, to reach their next level. And we all know we will be questioned on the day of judgment from our creator, how we utilized our health, our resources, our time. Time is a huge one. And often we just waste time on social media or, or all sorts TikTok. Yeah. And it's really a good way to kind of step into the best version of yourself to grow and all this in a community of of like-minded revert sisters. So and we are working on something really amazing, which is kind of an upgrade, which we, is called the Muslims Wife Club, mm -hmm. um, in which Sister Mary, who's a certified relationship coach, uh, will work in a very, very intimate um, group of sisters 
on, on, on marriage skills, which is kind of a very special thing which we are currently um, planning to do, inshallah, inshallah. Wow, so what yeah. is your, your overall experience of the BU Empowered Living, Ellie, was... Um, was yeah, was I mean, firstly, like just going onto the website, like I, you know, have a website myself, obviously do something a little bit different, but I appreciate a good website. It's very well laid out, very aesthetically pleasing. I appreciate that. And that is definitely what you have. You know, I love how all of the courses are laid out and it's just very pretty and appealing and it's very user friendly so for that for me is like um I yeah like I said I find like a lot of value in that so I really really enjoy that and I think the videos you know being self-paced as well like and they're short videos um is really handy you know I think you can really work that you know around a busy schedule and then you know thinking about even the whatsapp group you know i know i'm part of a few different like revert um groups for example on facebook and you know although they are good you know they still don't offer that level of um privacy whereas like a whatsapp group really does offer that of course yeah, it does offer that because, you know, you have to, yeah, you have to be part of a member of this to join the WhatsApp group. So you pretty much know of the women in the WhatsApp group. And I think that provides obviously a lot more privacy and therefore just a much more better support. And we've already had a few women kind of, you know, say things that they're going through and asking for advice and which I think is really, really nice and so, so valuable, especially for the sisters who, um, you know, don't really have any, you know, revert friends or know of anyone. Um, you know, I think that's, this is kind of like the next best step of kind of like having, you know, friends, literally like pre-made friends <laughs> on WhatsApp to be able to speak to who have come through, you know, the same channel, the same community as you and have those same interests. And yeah, I think finally, you know, I think obviously as re as, as Revert Muslims, it's so important to um, learn you know, learn about the religion, read the Quran, you know, learn more about the five pillars, um, learn more hadiths and everything, which is obviously so important. But I think, you know, for me, I see, you know, Islam, it's a way of life for us as well. And it's like a way of, you know, how we should be living as Muslims. And, you know, I think the courses that you talk about, like I said, they are, a lot of them are quite, you know, Kind of general topics that a lot of other people are talking about right now but the fact that and like personal development so yeah so this is like a really amazing mix of learning about islam but also the personal development um which i think is really unique you're going to learn a lot about islam but you're also going to be able to actually develop and learn life skills and like you were saying now going on to kind of like the the marriage courses that you'll do inshallah um you know, it's just really what you learn to you about yourself, isn't it? The, the more you strengthen yourself from the inside, because mm -hmm. it's also not an easy world we are living in and we are tested. Allah tells us that in the Quran that each one of us will be tested. So the stronger, it's almost like you're a tree and you're building your roots, isn't mm -hmm. it? The stronger yeah. your roots are in the ground um, with self-love and self-confidence and really knowing and understanding yourself, yeah. having your boundaries, et cetera, et cetera creating the right goals which are aligned with your values and your personalities as a Muslim, um, kind of conquering all that really also helps you to be to to be that kind of thriving Muslim you want to be. Okay, well, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for that. That was so, so yeah. interesting. All of the links are below in the description. Um, so yeah, everything that you need is down there. I'm going to add um, the Revert Channel Instagram as well. So make sure you go and follow them on Instagram. Um, and if you have got any questions about the Revert Channel, then the best way to con well, you can either contact Mary Lou, of course, on Instagram, um, or you can message me. The best way is to message me on Instagram rather than leaving a comment on YouTube so come over and see me on Instagram um, and then if you've got any questions about it as well you can ask me there but definitely check out those links um, and thank you very much for being here Mary Lou and thank you to everyone watching and I really hope to see you in the revert channel inshallah the channel um, and check out the BU Empowered Living and come yes. and join us it's yes it's no amazing. absolutely yeah I thank can't wait so to see it all in there thank you yeah. 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 Yeah.